I mean, it's a great conspiracy. I mean, there are some good conspiracies in here. You, you say that the... There's six, no conspiracies well, in there. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> people no, excuse love me. to talk Every about... Every document in there is in the public, and it's not a conspiracy. That's their documents. I, I mean, Condoleezza Rice right, sits out the, there. The, the memo, well, there's more than that. They didn't even look at NSA. They knew four, four to six months before it happened that there was intel to that level. And Condoleezza Rice sits out there and said, we had no idea they were gonna fly planes into buildings. Excuse me, the memo said it. August 6th, you can't read? You well, know, and, and there, there are so many questions that I have. They can debunk me, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. give me, answer my questions. Nobody answers your questions. You're not allowed to talk about 9-11, let alone question it. And now, of course, if you wanna get modern, we're gonna have this trial. Well, what these? You think about the um, trial of yeah, uh, uh, a, a military tribunal? Mm -hmm. They're not military. Why are they being tried by the military? That was a f murder that took place in New York. That's right, but it would it be was, the but, equivalent but, of but trying both the Hell's and Angels. Republicans did not uh, did not allow that. I mean, even people who supported Obama, like Sh Senator Schumer, said this trial can is not cannot take place. On, in New York City. Why? So they really didn't have an option here. Why? Well, there are safety concerns about it. There, I mean, there were, we could get, there was a ton of, of, of reasons why. Well, they, so, the so you're satisfied with a military tribunal, which is different than a regular trial. It won't, it'll be done behind closed doors, so we'll never hear the evidence except what they want to tell us. And they'll just simply execute these guys and say, okay, we did our job. What is the alternative? What How do you about want this? to happen? Let what me sit on the tribunal. But what, I'll but volunteer. I want to hear the evidence. I want to hear evidence. The admitted mastermind of 9 11. I mean, they're going to be. Wait a minute. Guilty. Admitted? They may plead guilty. Excuse me. They were waterboarded 173 times. I've been waterboarded. I've been waterboarded in Sears School as a Navy SEAL. It is torture. I'll tell you this any one of you were waterboarded, you'd confess to it too. Because let's, that's why they don't allow torture by the police. Let's, let's, because any torture is inadmissible in court. Because when you're being tortured, you will say whatever it is required to stop the torture. And we are now a country who tortures. Uh, it's enhanced tor interrogation. Because Dick Cheney makes up a no, new word. No, but the CIA told him that word. That's say, we need to get enhanced Kuchik interrogation. Abu, Abu it's, it's torture, my friend. Don't, and and been, I've had it done. Have you been waterboarded? What? Do you want Have you been waterboarded? Yeah, get waterboarded. And then we'll ask you. Let me waterboard you. I'm not blowing up America. I'm not trying to destroy this country. I'm not trying to fight against democracy everywhere we go. These people. Neither are they. These are the people that cut off Danny Pearl's head, and you're worried about their welfare no I'm not worried about their welfare I'm worried about what our of country them, stands for are you afraid for? of getting them radical I'm you're worried about what this our defense? country well where's it gonna end we have to end where is it gonna when end when they're dead really yeah why, well, how when Al-Qaeda loses, have when you they enlisted? decided their philosophy... Have you enlisted or are you just talking? No, am I just talking? You want me to enlist? Yeah. You don't like our armed forces? Go walk the walk. You, don't talk the talk. So wait a second. Let me a coward. Because I'm not a... you calling me a coward. <laughs> Young man, I've done things that would make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. By what? You cannot insult me into thinking you're going to get something out of me by calling me a coward. Well, suggesting My like... track record, nobody goes through buds and is a coward. George Bush inherited a recession. George Bush inherited the oh, negative. No, he Let did me finish. Not. Yes, he, oh, yes, he Wait did. A minute. Oh, yes, he if did. And here. the negative impact all of 9-11. Right. All right. All right. All right. You're well, telling me, you're telling me <laughs> that the United States was yeah. better off after George Bush or before him? After. Oh, my God. How can you make that statement? You just did. And you're I'll tell ridiculous. you why. Well, well I, I don't even need to talk to you about it Listen, then. Listen, it's not about it's, Republicans. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I, the fact Wait, like is, Ralph, is that... Like is, Ralph Nader said, right. we're a two-party dictatorship. But, you know, Jesse, I understand you spend by, about half your... You once told me you spent about half your time in Mexico. I even heard, by the way, is it true that you're thinking of becoming a Mexican citizen? Yeah, but I'm not giving up my U.S. Oh, citizenship. Oh, okay. So you I have dual, dual citizenship. No, 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 no. Because I, I know Mexico. I do, I do know Mexico pretty well. I didn't live there as you did, but I spent 12 years covering it for Why? the journal. So, and that talk about a country that is festooned with laws from one end of the border. The, their constitution, by the way, was started in the 1920s. It's a lot younger than ours, but they already have over a thousand amendments to their constitution. Well, in other words, they have so you know many laws there that nobody adheres to any single one of them. Well, pretty much. I never see any problem with government. That's why I'm down there. Government right. leaves me alone. But let me explain something. They actually do a lot of stuff better than we do.
Uh -huh. It's embarrassing. Like, for first example, of all, well, first of all, their president serves one six-year term. Right. I wish we would switch to that. Not Another a bad thing, idea. our our property taxes, we penalize good behavior and reward bad. Case in point, if you buy a home and fix it up, how are you rewarded? You pay more. Well, you know how it works in Mexico? Your property taxes are due in March. If you pay them yeah, in January. Yeah, but Jesse, the, Jesse, look, wait, there's, wait. If okay, you pay, wait, quick, let me finish. Because, okay, quickly. If you, all right, if you pay them in January, they knock off 20%. Right. If you pay them in February, they knock off 10%. But Jesse, my March point... March is normal, okay. better than us. I get you, Jesse, but my point is that there is, a, there is a sense of lawlessness. Because they have so many laws, and because the people don't give a damn about the laws, because they don't adhere to them... There's there no is one a, there to enforce there is them. A, oh, come on, Jesse, I, there certainly is. I don't and, see and they where are I live, corrupt. I don't Maybe, see... It. Maybe Why not you where you I live. live you live in there. Baja, California, but if you live in Mexico City, if you live in Monterey, if you live in uh, San Miguel de Allende, one of the big places down there, you're going to have to deal with a lot of corrupt officials who at any moment could accuse you of something, and the only way you can get out of it is by paying a little mordita, a little bribe. Gee, it sounds like the United States today. Well, in the United States, they don't call them bribes. They call them tax assessments or, or no, extra I mean, charge we, for we, this or extra charge. My, my point is, we, is that to a certain extent, hold our on. We our Constitution. Hold on. Jesse, there is a difference. We do have a, a sense of rule of law here, and I admit it is, being, it is being squashed over the past few years, but we do have a rule of law here that they do not have in Mexico. And that's why I like being down there, more freedom. Well, freedom, freedom if you can pay for it. If you can't pay for it, you can end up in a lot of nobody, trouble. Nobody bothers me. Well, I wouldn't if I was down there either. In a free country, when telling the truth, you can get charged for treason, we're in big trouble. Even if you stolen the information? Uh, the stolen information, excuse me. We all pay taxes. All that information is paid for by my tax dollars. On my TV show this year, Conspiracy Theories, we had a confession you to don't the murder believe, of John. You don't that we had a confession. The whole truth about Absolutely what happened not. At John but we had a confession. E. Howard Hunt confessed to his son, St. John Hunt, on his deathbed. He said it was called the big event. He was on the fringes of it. He named who it was. It was William Harvey, who at that time was head of the CIA's assassination team, and David Sanchez Morales. And he is also famous for something else. You know what? He killed Che Guevara in Bolivia in 1967, where they put Che against the wall and executed him. And Sanchez used to wear Guevara's Rolex for a trophy. People are eating their Cheerios this morning, and they're going, <laughs> Jesse Ventura. Boy, that, I mean, it, that's not what we learn in history, and that's not what mainstream America believes. And, and what does it matter today? I mean, well, obviously it matters, but what does it matter today? I mean, we're, we're moving What does on. it matter this today? All... Because if you can kill our president and get away with it, then what can't you do? I challenge you okay. with that. Donald Trump is now a Republican, therefore you have to embrace the Republican Party. But the whole Republican Look, Party wait, came out against him. Wait a minute, Alex. Look who he picked to run with him. That's a good point. The most solid Republican you could possibly pick of the in crowd, Pence. I don't know, I don't you know? know if he's like a rhino, like, uh, that'd be Paul Ryan, I think, would be the biggest in crowd guy. Well, Pence is right there with him. He's just a governor. That's the difference. Ryan's on the national scale. Pence is at the state level. P Pence is as far right as you can get. He's another one of these guys that wants to... Uh, He's opposed. Well, let me ask you this then: Why is the establishment to all these social issues? He's a typical Republican that wants to be in your bedroom. But then Trump comes out and and you know says we need to you know have equal rights for gays and lesbians in his main speech. So that's Trump. Well, again, like I said, he still embraced the Republican. But even the Washington Party, Post said, Republican. even Washington Just Post said, Bernie Hillary Sanders is not an independent. Bernie Sanders is a Democrat. So you got the Democrats and Republicans deciding who gets to debate. No, that's, that's why the, I brought it up. I mean, that's the he, proverbial fox in the hen house. Yes, but uh, I agree with you. But look at how the Republican Party pulled out all the stops and tried to steal the nomination from Trump. He fought back. They failed. I see it more as an insurrection, a populist movement taking over the Republicans, at least until he brought Pence in. That was just to stop the Republicans from trying to totally overthrow him. But I get your point. He does a lot of great things and then does some bad things.
But look at how the big money is giving him no money. We've never seen this in, in 50, 60 years, the, the Republican nominee getting no money from big interest. That is a big plus for Donald Trump. I mean, come on, uh, Governor Ventura, give it to him. Well, certainly that's a plus for him. But I noticed that he's still going to big popular Republican fundraisers, though, isn't he? Well, he's so going, like, to the $5,000 a plate. Instant, wait, I don't buy for an instant he's not getting supported by Republican money. He's not getting I the Koch brothers. He's not getting the big why super PACs. At, why would he be going to no big pharma if he wasn't getting money? I mean, he's flying into places like Austin and Dallas and stuff, and it's $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a plate. And that's that's not establishment, people. That's 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 pretty grassroots. He's well, not getting any big pharma, stuff, any big Wall Street. Some of this stuff isn't grassroots either. A lot of it is. The point is, is that the power structure is giving most of his money to Hillary. But Alex, you and I will beg to differ. You can vote for Trump. I'll vote for Gary Johnson. I'll say this, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Quick questions for former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. We cover uh, a few different things on 9-11. This isn't, this isn't conspiracy stuff. We also cover the... the wait, 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 wait. Are people we need cover, to know, are you saying that planes didn't fly into the no, building or no, that no, our government no. knew they were going to fly into the building? They, well, they either knew, they either participated or the biggest buffoons that ever ran our country. It's one or the other. Well, why, and, uh, why is no. it that no one ever thought of, of uh, storming a cockpit with a box cutter and threatening a pilot? I mean, just no one that had ever done that before. Is that is that, that Well, let's go to document 47 where the government talks about building seven and admits it went down in free fall well free fall means it was demoed that's just another word because it defies physics if all the only way a building can fall in free fall is to remove all resistance governor i was there and so therefore governor, I all there. resistance I watched, removed. I watched the plane fly into the building the second plane no fly building into the seven building. didn't oh, have no, a plane allow me, allow me allow me to finish i watched the buildings burn for 104 minutes i watched them come down governor and i waited and we waited and everyone wanted to know what was going to happen with building seven everyone down there we were all down there wondering is seven coming down there was a rumor that the uh the brooks brothers building was going to come down too if you know anything about the world trade center underneath the world trade center was cavernous it was a mall you could walk literally between all the buildings so when the pile came down it took the structural integrity out of the bottom of seven and uh, brooks brothers and the other one that it escapes me right it's now still, it still wouldn't fall free fall what because do you that mean defies fall, physics. Free, fall. What, free what fall means it's like it fell as fast as me jumping out of an airplane before I pull my chute. Well, of course, no you would resistance. fall the same rate as well, a bowling ball out then, of an airplane okay, or, then or, you or a are, out of Well, the then you're arguing against physics, my friend, and um, you can't I, do listen, it. Listen, you, I've heard you say that you think that be, um, there's no chance for steel to melt with, with jet fuel because it's so close to kerosene's burning. It takes 3,000 degrees to oh, turn steel oh, into liquid. Governor, governor, 3,000. To melt it, but you don't Eric, it Eric, into, Eric. It doesn't have to turn It's called a liquid false flag operation. Just like the Gulf of Tonkin incident, when they told us we were attacked and they put us into the Vietnam War, and lo and behold, it was a lie. It never so happened. What's the theory, Governor? Why, why, no theory. why would the government is a theory? Why would George Bush allow? Uh, Go ask you know, them. Three thousand people. Go ask vote. them. Well, what do you? What's why your, would you they allow? A reason. Why would they? Motive. Why would they allow fifty-eight thousand of us to die in Vietnam? I'm not asking you. But I'm asking about this incident. Oh, why you don't want they, to talk why? about other No, I don't. Uh, other because false this flaggers. is about 9-11, which I'm very near and dear to, very oh. close. So I lost a lot of friends there. Really? I want to know why you think my government would allow something like that to happen, have policemen, firemen, traitors, moms, dads, Muslims. Why would they allow that to happen? For what reason? What's the motive? Money. I need more than money. Give me more. What do you mean money? Wars. All wars, the, almost every war has started with a false flag operation. Look at history, read it, or you're doomed to repeat it. Okay, so let me ask you this. If you, it, where's Obama on this? He's leaving Gitmo open. Yeah, I'm angry. The trial should be open so I can have my questions answered, and then I can agree with you. So uh, is Obama let, let in on me, this conspiracy, too? No, come on. Well, you I want to know. You I guys mean, if, always, if, I go, this book is based on government documents. That's what's in this book. My question all the doc is this, No, no, no. I, ta let's talk about my book. These are all government documents that we have discovered. We have printed them as a whole. The people can read the book, read the documents, and come to their own conclusion. And it covers a whole lot more than just 9-11. Are, are they secret documents? Uh, no, they're all in the public forum. 
So they're, they're not, what are there. they hiding then? Uh, you're, well, just, you're compiling them. Yeah, because you guys won't. Do you ever bring up, see, that's how come the, the mainstream media Here's won't touch any Here's of this. My... I don't believe you believe that. You don't honestly think Dick Cheney knew it was going to happen. You can't do Do you really believe, it's not Sears? It's not irrational. I said, Excuse it's not me. rational. Excuse me. Do you really believe that evil people can't be in charge of governments? If you do, go talk to the Germans. They know a little about that, that evil people can get in charge. The governments are run by people. Governments people can be bad. So Dick Cheney is involved, Ashcroft's involved, all these people got together and planned nine. Come on, it's madness. Oh, oh, that's madness. But you'll fully accept that 19 Islamic radicals armed with box cutters taking orders from a guy in a cave in Afghanistan mm. could defeat our multi-billion dollar air defense yes. system, yes. which the Russians couldn't yeah. do. Jesse, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Really? Unfortunately, they exposed a massive flaw in Homeland Security. And what was it? The flaw was that these guys had been training and often aiming to go one way, aiming to land planes in a certain manner, but not even land them. They wanted to take off but not land. All these were clues that this was a weird set of circumstances. I'm afraid that's exactly what happened. And the trouble being a conspiracy theorist, I've got great respect for you and your book's very readable. The problem is, once you start buying into these theories, you never stop. And with the internet these days, there's a theory about everything. Yeah. I and mean, do you believe Princess Diana was, was murdered? No, I don't look into that. Well, what do you think? I don't know. I isn't haven't studied the, it. Isn't the tendency of a conspiracy I, theory I that only, it breeds I, no, other conspiracies? No, 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 no. I only go into things I study. I've studied 9-11 for three and a half years now. And it's my expert opinion as a demolition expert. I was trained by the best the U.S. government has. I served three years on underwater demolition team 12. Two years I was attached to SEAL mm. team 1. And, and when I look at the buildings and how they fall and the way they fell, they couldn't have come down without being assisted in some manner. And then I counter... You don't believe when two then, large planes hit the World Trade Center, no, hit both towers, no. and they explode, yeah. that that couldn't bring down two buildings? No. And that the debris because, couldn't well, bring down a third building? The, the Empire State Building was hit by a plane, and it didn't collapse. It was a tiny plane that hit the Empire State Building. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Tiny. Well, the World Trade Center buildings were tested against Boeing 707s, which are bigger than the planes that hit. Well, and you, the way it was designed, if, if it was punctured, it was like a screen door. It would cause damage right where it, the hit was, but this uniform collapse. And then when you look at the powder, if it collapsed, it would collapse in big chunks. Jesse, you're, Wait, you're, you're, then I was at the site two weeks after it happened with Governor Pataki, hmm. right? And they had to cease digging that day. You know why? They were finding pockets of molten liquid metal underneath. Now, if everything took place, Piers, 150 floors up, why was there molten metal underneath? You looked at my reading list. Have you read the 9-11 report and you think it's a piece of fiction? No, I believe everything in it. I believe. Uh, my government's never lied to me, have they? Let's see, where should we start? The Gulf of Tonkin incident? Now that took us into war in Vietnam. They've now admitted it was a lie. So 58,000 of my generation were killed based upon a lie. What but that, that doesn't count, does it? I what does that have to do with 9 11? That shows that we will lie to go to war. We've been doing it for years. We will continue to do it. The Gulf of Tonkin incident, did you believe that? Well, you did, probably weren't was, alive then. Um, I apologize for not being alive then. Well, uh, it won't happen again. Well, uh, so, yeah, I was I'll, alive. Okay. But 50, and I remember our president sitting on TV telling us right. our boys are floating in and the because water. Because of that, and you'll, never believe, to be false. And because no, that you'll never believe anything. No, but they anything. lie all the time. I, have you been in government? No, I have.